the Kenya pipeline, the managing director is struggling with a lot of cases in the DCI. The former managing director, where did we go wrong? And then we begin to be liars. His Excellency Dr. William Roto is a liar. He's a, a, a habitual liar. He has lied on so many things. He's in he says he's in government. Now you come to lament to Kenyans who are not in government. You are not in government. You are in government. You are out of government. You are in government. You are on the fence. Ruto, state your position. If you are not in government, then why do you hold the position of a deputy president? You are confusing Kenyans more. You are losing credibility on every day. Only people who have not gone to school, who are malcontents, will vote for you. But not if, if people knew what they were voting for, they will not vote for you. Yesterday, His Excellency President Uru Mingai Kenyatta, yesterday on 4th of April 2022, Uru Kenyatta signed into law a parliamentary bills among them 2022 supplementary appropriation bill which gives credence to money paid to be paid subsidies and others to paid to people the newly signed budget therefore analogs a total of 139 billion or trillion exchequer funds for to be used in drought related interventions additionally 8.813 billion to the electoral body which is organizing the elections which are already mad with a lot of irregularities i'm sorry that's another topic that i will stand on this podium with this new technology to deliver Later on, Deputy President William Ruto stood up on Monday in a press conference as if he's not in government at a government house having eaten government food having been given washed cloth on government money stood and started blaming Uhuru Mingai Kenyatta and what he calls government. Kenyans and Africans and the world watching. Which type of deputy president condemns the same government which he claims and lies to people that he works in? If it is not a malicious man with a black heart, a very dark heart, who would like to see his friend collapse? Ruto is telling us what he should be telling the National Security Council and the cabinet. Ruto father goes further to tell lies about the date. I've given you the story on how he ballooned the date. Uhuru goes to borrow the money to bring it for Kenyans. Ruto steals it through corruption and cronies and takes it through back kickbacks. That's how the economy of Kenya came to its knees where it is. The politics around the debt, prices, fuel, can be summarized as a regime change tool. And for those intelligence officers watching me or the security organs, a regime change which Mudavad and Aruto went to Washington to sign agreements with George Soros is in offing. I'm here as a symbol, and you'll thank me later, that believe me or not, Ruto is not interested in an election in Kenya. Ruto is interested in chaos in this country. And if you think I'm wrong, just wait, you'll thank me later. Mudavad and Ruto are agents of George Soros machinations that are silently funding their budgets 
and their election. A few weeks ago, and I would like to warn people that whenever you see Ruto going towards those Mount Eligon, Busia, Bungoma, Turkana, up to Nyanza down, and unfortunately they can't go to Kisumu because we, people will see who is bringing money from where. You know money has arrived. There was quite a lot of confusion. <laughs> quite a lot of confusion. Last two weeks in UDA, where they almost came to a breakup because there was no money. Mudavad and the others went to Busia, spent nights in Busia. The rest can be told to security agencies. What happened there? It's a symbol. If they said they were not there and they didn't have this, I challenge them to come up and say, did you see us? That's a, in any case, it's a libel case. We can go ahead with them and we shall see who will not suffer the consequences. It is very sad, therefore, for people to politicize the question of fuel. The fuel, polit the politicization of the fuel angle, viewers and those watching and listening to this lecture, is purely to regime change the government of Uru Kenyatta. Look at the number of panics. Look at the people who crowded at the petrol stations. Look at the signs of a regime change that can come and eventually. What about if fire catches up? Look at the number of cars that were parked along the roads. The health and the safety, the theft, the killings, the, 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 the theft of equipment. If you are going to look for fuel, you leave your car on the road. The inconveniences can cause a regime change, can bring people to the streets of the capital cities of the country called Kenya and Mombasa. Therefore, it is a tool. And those who don't understand and don't, who, who don't believe me, I will be using this platform podium to tell the truth. Because it seems that people have not listened to the truth when you tell them they either said they know or they don't know. But if you don't know, try to find out whether there is truth or not. But there's a regime change mechanism taking place and shape in Kenya. Under the guise of UDA and the bottom up. The men of George Soros, David Indi, Mudavad Musalia, joined up in New York with Abraham Singoye as the main conduit and the organizer and the link pin of George Soros activities in the Republic of Kenya. Him and the wife, they work together to mutilate this country. But there are no people, I can't cry beyond the bereaved, but as Paul, I will preach to the Gentiles. My letter to Philippians, the people of Philippi, one day you will thank me. So when you come back to the question of fuel, yes, there is also another bad side of our administration. The administration of Jubilee Party in explaining their policies. The government does not explain their policies in a language that suits. That's why Ruto has found a weakness in stabbing at President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes, time has come to speak the truth. The PS of transport, Mr. Kamau, comes up on national television, tells us about stupidity, complete. That is not an explanation where a situation of George Soros is working under. I'm sorry. I say my mind, let them hurt me. I don't care. I, I'm not paid by them. Neither do I get payment. I'm just a watchman, world watchman. I watch events anywhere, wherever I am, whether Zimbabwe, whether Khartoum, whether South Sudan, whether London. 
I speak my mind. I've spoken my mind to Tony Blair. Is he not running around Africa looking for? Is he not running around Africa looking for for work contracts? I told him 1998 in Brighton that don't dismember Zimbabwe. Don't isolate Mugabe. Is he not? He's ashamed when he saw me. Kempiski couldn't believe. Luckily enough, we are all members of the Labour Party. I keep quiet. I respect him because he was a former prime minister of a nuclear country. But I used to tell him. So I am not afraid of saying the truth. Didn't I tell people about ICC? Did I go wrong? Tell me where I went wrong. I've never misled anybody on ICC. I've never. I have never. All my facts have come true. I said the cases were, were bugged. Fact, they were procured. They were faked. They are not good cases. They will not last long. And it came to pass. Nobody came to give me a medal for that. But they came to pass. So for this one, I must say the truth. The PS added more confusion than bringing us. Because most people think Matanga is here. Or Matanga is criticizing Ruto. No. Also where there is a mistake, we say it. He should have explained better the situation of the fuel crisis that could plunk the country into chaos. The prices. The prices of fuel. Kenya is a country full of brokers. Brokerage in Kenya is the worst thing that I have ever seen. Everything in Kenya my viewers know it is brokerage. Brokers. Brokers, even when you ask for the journey, you are lost on the road. Someone will say, Sasa, uh, Sasa, Sasa, Sasa. You see that? You are lost. You don't know where the house you are going to. And then you put it down in your mirror. And then you want to say, wait, which house number is this road? He said, Muse Lakini, Muse, Muse. I don't know whether you have seen this, you people. Muse, Lakini, Sina, Utaniona Lini. This type of brokerage, black middlemen, increase the prices of fuel. And one of them is William Samoy Ruto.